Now, an HIV activist in Uganda has come up with a novel approach to encourage young people to protect themselves against the disease. She calls it pill power. Halima Athumani reports from Kampala. That is no ordinary wind chime on her hand. Barbara Kemigisa has been HIV positive for over a decade. She uses her empty pill bottles as part of her outreach to university students. Her dream is an HIV-free generation. We are very much interested in seeing this come into a reality by using what we have. And what we have is our own empty bottles to create more awareness, but also to appreciate, motivate and support our young people living with HIV. While Uganda is recording an overall decline in new HIV cases, the infection rate remains high among the youth, especially girls and young women. Kemigisa doesn't want them to go through what she did. I know what it means to, to swallow those ARVs every day. You know, it's not easy. She gets creative to reach young people and she has no shortage of raw material. This room is what defines Barbara Kemigisa's everyday life. She has been able to use these empty antiretroviral bottles to make this chair that is made out of 600 empty bottles, but also the baby crib, the flower vest and the bed, among others. Most of these bottles are chemigisas, but other HIV-positive people have started donating. She sells some of her creations and donates others to universities with messages about the importance of taking ARVs. At the university, Kemigisa battles stigma. She explains the importance of knowing your HIV status and she adds prevention. 70% by the of the population of mobs is girls, so it is a, a big challenge. But uh, I will take an initiative from now. Uh, every time, uh, if I'm to probably <laughs> go in for sex, I would take protective sex. The UN warns that globally new HIV infections among adolescents could rise by nearly 60% by 2030 if more is not done. Kemigisa has accepted that challenge. Halima Athmani for VOA News, Kampala.